Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna to be a little bit of a different video. I am so excited to open up this parcel. I wanted to do an unboxing of my new Louis Vuitton mini binder. Yes, I found one on eBay is where I found mine. It was $106 Canadian. It shipped really, really fast as well too, so I'm so excited to receive it. It wasn't as expensive as I would have thought, but it was definitely one thing that I had budgeted previously before starting this YouTube channel, so I had that money already aside. I was just waiting for something to come within my budget because I only had saved $100, well, technically I only saved $100 for this, and then I just added the $6 out of my extra cash that I have in order to purchase this. I've wanted one ever since I started doing my research at the beginning of the year for cash budgeting and for budgeting in order to become debt free. So that's normally what you would find on my channel. I do a lot of budgets with me, a lot of cash stuffing, but today I am going to be unboxing my new Louis Vuitton mini binder. I'm so excited. I will have the details of what I received in the description as far as like the title of it. I call it a Louis Vuitton mini binder. I don't know exactly the correct name for it, but I will have that in the link below if you did want to search it on eBay yourself. All right, let's get into it. I have a little knife here and I'm going to be very, very careful when I cut this because I'm not sure how well packaged. Unfortunately, it did come with like a little bit of a dent. I'm hoping that everything is okay inside the box, um, but we will find out together. Like I said, I just want to be really careful when opening this box because I don't know. It looks like it's kind of well packaged, but oh my gosh, heaven forbid. <laughs> That would be my luck. Get something new and that I saved up for and, you know, I end up ripping it or something. Have you guys, do you guys have that sort of luck when you want something new and you've wanted it and then you open up the package and you accidentally cut it or, you know, damage it even more than it was received? Yeah, that would be the kind of luck that I would have. All right. So this did come from a seller in China. Like I said, it came super fast. It was here within... I want to say four business days. It was super, super fast. Definitely do your reviews and read all of the reviews and before you purchase from a, a seller. Oh, it is pretty well packaged, so I don't think it's damaged at all. Oh, how exciting. Oh my gosh. So it's well packaged, so that's the good thing because I was worried that maybe because of it being damaged on the outside that it might have you know you never know right how they package it let me just move all of this stuff out of the way all right so they obviously must have um this is their sort of tag maybe for inventory sake but it is all wrapped in bubble wrap which is nice it's always nice when you just don't receive it by itself that they actually take the time and care to you know wrap it properly i'm not going to use a knife though opening this i'm just i'm too scared <laughs> i don't buy a lot of things for myself you know i'm a mother and a wife and even though my kids are adult kids you know you still look out for them and buy them things as they need it but this is like a pretty big purchase for myself especially with starting uh like uh budgeting and becoming debt free you know i kind of have the mentality now um, not to be spending money on myself other than if it's already budgeted. So like I said, I did budget this for myself. Oh, it's, I thought it would be softer. It's a little bit harder. So that's a little bit different as far as the material. I don't know if you can hear that, but I thought it would be maybe softer, but that's okay. Let me throw that bubble wrap aside. So this is my first impression and I, I can't even believe that I'm actually holding a Louis Vuitton. And also, whenever you're looking at the seller, make sure that it has like the authenticity and everything like that and you're not buying something, you know, that is fake. Very, very important. But, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
and I'm, I'm actually excited that I bought it used. A lot of people, you know, want to buy a new Louis Vuitton or anything like that. First of all, your girl does not have that kind of budget to be buying, you know, from the Louis Vuitton store. That's the type of store I just walk past. I don't even go into those kind of stores. And I like the used feel of something like this, like already kind of broken in instead of it like getting being hard, getting used to, and everything just being so, so brand new. Oh my gosh. Eek. So I have ordered some inserts as well. This is going to be my daily cash budget is what I'm going to be keeping in here. So I will have the envelopes for groceries, gas, personal, an emergency I'm thinking is what's going to be in here. So I did order the correct size because this is a smaller binder than my regular size. Um, I forget what the sizes are, but this one here is your typical standard for the, the binder that we all have been using. And this one is, is smaller for sure. All right, so those should be coming, I would expect, you know, another week or so, because it is taking a little bit longer. I do live in Canada, so it is being sent from the States, and uh, it's, it's just taking a little bit longer. So I will be able to start using this, hopefully, by the next time that I do my cash stuffing. Maybe, maybe not, maybe it'll be in a couple weeks' time, but I'm so excited. I'm going to be putting my cards in here, um, which is I always carry a credit card for emergency sake because even at hospitals like you can't even pay for parking any other way than a credit card. It's ridiculous. Um, so I had gone to the hospital for my husband. He needed some x-rays and the parking was credit card only. It, we couldn't take cash. It won't even accept our our debit visa card or anything it was strictly a credit card so i'm going to start carrying a credit card just for emergency sake and my driver's license of course and then um, my bank card just because when i go to the bank because i do live a half hour away from a major city i want to make sure that it's on me but other than that this will be the the one that i use strictly for my little cash spending. So I love it. It is so friggin cute. It is in really, really good shape. There's a little bit of wear there from the binder ring, which everything has been disclosed before I bought. Um, I think there's a little bit of rubbing on one of the corners, I wanna say. I think it was maybe here. Um, but that's all disclosed on eBay when you are looking. They have tons of these um, for various prices depending on the condition. But for the condition that this one was in, I thought $106 was definitely reasonable. Like I said, I had budgeted only $100 to spend and I was willing to wait however long it took before I ended up getting that price point. So like I said, I'm not too worried about the little imperfections because Let's face it, I'm just going to be using this as well, and it's going to be in a use state regardless. Sorry, the train is going by my place. You can probably hear that in the background, but I love the security of the button. That was another thing I was going to mention is this one here sometimes opens on me. So I think it's because I have too many um, envelopes in here and that's I'm thinking about downsizing this and putting some of these in my sinking funds that stay at home but this binder sometimes doesn't always close it's just a magnet and I definitely like the security of this also I'll show you when I get them but the little inserts that I got for this binder has a zipper so that is one thing that is a must for me it must have the zipper right here because we have loonies and toonies in Canada and I end up having a lot of change, right? And I don't wanna lose any of that change by just having an open pocket. I have to have all zippers. That's just a personal preference. Um, so the ones that I ordered to go in my mini binder do have zippers on them. And like I said, I will show you once I get those, but I just wanted to do an unboxing with this because I am so happy and I'm so proud that I budgeted for something that I sincerely wanted and thought about this purchase as well. So definitely look into, you know, some research. I know we're all, you know, wanting the things all budgeting and spending the money on binders and the envelopes and the stickers and everything. And this is just one thing that I feel is going to be a classic long-term investment. 
and a hundred dollars I feel is definitely worth it and it's something that I budgeted for and that's mainly the reason why we start budgeting is if we do want something and we're we want to put the money aside for it we don't feel so guilty about buying it right so i just wanted to share that with you so thank you so much for joining me today and kind of feeling my excitement while ordering uh while opening this it truly makes my heart happy and it also makes me proud it makes me proud to know that i budgeted for such a luxury item i know maybe for some of you it isn't a luxury item but for me this definitely is so so thank you so much for joining me on this video make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like and don't forget to leave me a comment as well too i love talking to all of my subscribers see you next time